side of eternity they were inseparable mm -hmm. telepathically they were together everywhere mama went number one was with her my 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 everywhere to the market salon everywhere he just talked along but you know what of the process of time mm -hmm. number one had to go he had to go to school from kindergarten elementary and all of that and yours truly faithfully that they came for him to go to high school as we call it secondary and mama said to papa you know i think we should send him to a boarding facility and papa looked at her and said really why because i want him to learn independence you know get some and all of that and mama okay papa said i agree oh so they went on looking for a school and they got a school and it was so beautiful and she went all out there buying everything that is you know what mm. she bought this she bought that and that and that oh my and y'all that day came the fateful day oh number one had to go to school now it was a big ceremony everybody came together in the house aunties and uncles and everybody number one is going to school and off they went and they got to school and did all the paperwork and it was time for mama to let number one go and she held him and papa said come on let him go and she looked at papa and said you don't understand okay and papa said no worries and uh, finally she let him go number one left without looking back so emotional and uh, mama went home oh, wow the first week without number one around was a burden it was tiring it was a torture you know then the second week on that fateful saturday her phone rings and she picked it up she actually was in the kitchen preparing her uh, lunch she picked it up it was a school calling and was hello who's there and she said ah number one is not feeling well she dropped everything and said to daughter we need to go what's the problem number one is not feeling well ah eh? okay and off they went you know and got the car keys and got into the car and got to the school and before the car could stop she was out running and somehow number one was up there in the 
yes, the, the hostel, second floor, he saw mama, and he screamed, mama, it's been two weeks, oblivious of everybody, mama stood there like a statue of liberty with her hands open, and number one ran through the flight of stairs, and he ran towards mama, and he plunged his face into her temple, and he took that deep breath and said, mama,